All right then, well apparently they're leaving a pretty large sum of money for us. Wait, is that actually true? How much money do you think they left us? Well, they're trying really hard to hide it from us, so that must mean that the total adds up to about one million dollars. Wait, are you serious? If we had that kind of money, then we could go anywhere. We could even go overseas. Yeah, that's exactly right. We can go and eat at the most expensive restaurants, travel anywhere in the world, and we can even buy a pretty decent house by the beach. That's so exciting. That means we can go anywhere we want for our honeymoon, right? Of course, honey. All right, now we just gotta write this will. Let's go. All right, Dad, could I borrow your arm real quick? This'll just take a second. All right, you hold this paper up for me. Yes, sir. My name is Shigeaki, and this is Hiroyoshi, my brother, who's five years older than me. Me and I cannot be more different, and he's always been a troublemaker. <sighs> Why did you try to steal from that store again? The police are letting you off the hook because you're still a teenager. But what are you going to do when you actually become an adult? I don't know. Everything will be fine, though. Don't worry about it. Life isn't easy, you know? Do you even know how hard I had to work to get where I am today? But you're just an owner of a small and failing factory. That isn't impressive at all. You gotta cut corners when you can, you know? Trying to steal from people isn't cutting corners. It's a crime. And if you pull the same crap when you're an adult, you're gonna go to jail, and everyone's gonna know what you did. Do you want that to happen to you? Look, Hiroyoshi, we're not telling you how to go to a big university or become a successful businessman or anything. That's not what we want from you. All we want is for you to stop causing trouble for us and, more importantly, the people around you. <sighs> Focus, Hiroshi. This is really important, you know. What you were doing is a crime, and it's unethical. You were causing real harm to that store, you know. How would you feel if people stole your money, huh? Wouldn't you be sad if someone stole the money that you've worked hard to save up? Man, if we keep letting you get away with stuff like this, I feel like you're going to do something worse in the future. Listen up, Hiroyoshi. If you're going to keep on doing stuff like this, then we have no choice but to sign you up for boarding school. This is your very last chance, all right? Okay, okay. I don't want to cause trouble for others anymore. You don't have to tell me over and over again. Okay. We're trusting you, all right? We have your word then, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, your mother and I are going to be going back to the convenience store to apologize again, so you better not go anywhere. Aye, aye, sir. Hey, Hiroyoshi, have mom and dad gone back to apologize again? That's right, you want me to teach you how to do it. It's usually a secret, but I can tell you if you want to know. Uh, no, I'm good. If you keep on stealing from others, do you think it's fun? That's messed up. Shut the hell up. What, you think you're better than me or something? And yes, of course I have fun stealing from other people. But whatever the case, I don't think that you should do it anymore. Yeah, you're right. I don't want to be yelled at again, so I'll try and stop myself from stealing again. But in exchange, I'm expecting my parents to feed me for the rest of my life. I'm going to become one of those entitled brats without a job, you know? I'm going to let them feed and protect me. What the hell do you mean? And so for the next 15 years, Hiroyoshi stayed in his room and refused to get a job. But my parents never really forced him to come out or change his ways because they knew he might just cause trouble for others again if he let them outside. They were too worried to let him go outside. Meanwhile, I graduated college, got a job, and moved out of my parents' place. And three years later, after graduating college, I got married with my girlfriend Marina. We've been dating ever since we were in middle school. Nice to meet you, ma'am. My name is Marina. I first met your son when we were in high school, and we were classmates back then. M middle school? But well, you never told us about any of this. Have you been hiding her from us all this time? Yeah, I didn't want you guys to pick on me, so I kind of kept this a secret. Wow, that's impressive. I can't believe you were able to keep it from us for so long. And so Marina and I are getting married, Mom. Oh wow, congratulations. That's amazing news. I can't believe you landed someone as beautiful as her. Good work, son. God, I'm kind of jealous of you. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about, Mom? Oh, you're making me blush, ma'am. But you're very beautiful as well. No wonder Shigaki is this handsome. It's in the family. Oh, you're too much, honey. But I did change my makeup routine recently, and it's been doing wonders for me. Hey, Mom, no one asked you about your makeup routine, all right? Save us from all the lecturing. Wait, but I want to hear her talking about it, though. What kind of routine do you have right now? All right, I'll show you all the products I'm using right now. Could you go wait with your father over there for a second? So, Dad, how's it going? Uh, so, good? Alright, that's great. Marina seems to be getting along pretty well with Mom, so that's definitely a relief. But I'm sure the products are all expensive. Oh, I thought so too before I bought them. 
but they're all on sale right now. What? Seriously? Then I'm going to buy some as well when I get back. Shigeki, I love your fiancé. She's just the best. And you better not make her cry. I will never forgive you if you make her unhappy. Now, you better put a ring on her before she runs away. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm glad that you guys are all getting along, though. I'm sure your father's excited right now as well. Look, I think he's smiling a bit. You're right. You know, back when your father was healthy, we used to talk about when you'd get married. And we thought you might never find anyone because we never heard any rumors about you dating anyone. Wow, so you never told anyone about us, huh? That's pretty incredible. Someone saw us date back once in middle school, and they teased me endlessly. I didn't want that to happen again, so I did my best to keep things airtight. Huh, so that's why you've been keeping it a secret, huh? That makes sense. By the way, is your brother not home today? Yeah, I think so. He's probably out with his girlfriend again. He's the polar opposite of you. And when he started dating his current girlfriend, he made sure everyone knew about it. I see. You don't have to introduce yourself to him or anything. He's not worth talking to, and he's just going to make fun of you. Hey, that's not nice. You're supposed to respect your older brother, man. Hiroyoshi? Nice to meet you, sir. My name is Marina, and your brother and I are getting married. It's great to finally meet you in person. Oh yeah, I've seen you before, Marina. But are you really sure you want to marry this guy? There's better men out there that are way better than him. Why would that be the first thing you say to her, Hiroshi? That's so rude. You should just go back to your room with your girlfriend and stop bothering us. But we're supposed to be introducing ourselves to Shigeaki's new fiancé, right? We're just being polite. Nice to meet you, Marina. My name is Yu, and I'm Hiroshi's fiancé. Whoa, hold on. I never said that I would marry you, honey. What? But you always say that we're going to be together forever. Doesn't that mean you want to marry me? Well, I do say that a lot, but that doesn't mean that I'm ready to get married to you. Oh, okay then. Well, you're probably just going to cheat on me again then. I would never cheat on you, honey. You're the only one that I have. I love you. Then will you marry me? Of course. All right, you heard him, everyone. We're finally a Officially getting married! This is an amazing day, isn't it? Both your sons are getting married. What a special day, right, Dad? Anyways, when should we host the wedding, huh? Let's see. Hey, honey, who's cuter, Marina or me? Be honest, okay? Yeah, obviously. Not even a question. Yeah, you're right. Marina's a bit too... bland, I guess. Hey, watch it. That's enough. I can't deal with you two anymore. You need to leave right now. <laughs> Seems like we pissed off the witch, huh? Let's get out of here, you. Yep, let's go. See you, Marina and Shigaki. It was nice seeing you guys. I'll see you guys at our wedding. Man, I'm so excited. This is gonna be great. <sighs> I'm so sorry about them, Marina. That was so rude. No, it's not your fault. But man, they were exactly like what you described them as, Shigaki. Yeah, he's a genius at pissing people off and causing trouble. You know, he's 30 already and he still has never gotten a full-time job. It's pathetic, really. <sighs> but he was even worse than when he was a teenager. So I'm just glad he didn't end up in jail, you know? This is honestly close to the best case scenario. But man, we gotta figure out what to do with him, or he's really gonna end up causing irreparable damage to our family. But what else is there left to do? We tried everything already. He couldn't have been that terrible. I'm sure he was just a little troublemaker. A troublemaker? Oh no, he was way worse than a troublemaker. He was the devil. But anyway, let's forget about him for now and focus on the good news. Let's have some tea, all right? <laughs> Thank you so much. So we tried our best to forget about Hiroyoshi, and we talked about how we met each other, and the fights that we've apparently been through, and what we wanted our wedding to be like. Our parents seemed to be really proud and happy while listening to us. Man, I might have had a little too much to drink tonight. You're so strong, ma'am. I can't keep up. Oh, Marina, you should look in the mirror. Your face is all red. You look like a monkey right now. <laughs> Shigaki, your face is purple. But are you sure you're okay? I think. But I'm sorry about earlier, Marina. Hiroshi must have really been annoying. It's all right. Shigaki told me about what kind of person his brother was beforehand. So I knew this was going to happen. And he told me about your father's condition too. I see. You know, he's stuck on his bed now. But he used to be a really good looking factory owner. He worked really hard every day. He showed me a picture from when he was still young. You guys all look great in the photo. Thank you. He was an excellent businessman and an excellent father. We're going to have to start thinking about the inheritance soon. Have you heard about that from Shigaki as well? Yes, I have. He saved up quite a lot, right? We've already talked to a lawyer about it, so it should be fine. Oh, really? 
That's great. Thank you for taking initiative on this, honey. That's really helpful. Hey, yo, were you guys talking about dad's inheritance? Huh? I thought that you were out with your girlfriend. Are you back already? I've got the opening shift tomorrow, so I decided to come back early. But anyway, about the inheritance... That's none of your business, Hiroshi. What the hell do you mean? I'm my father's son too, you know. But you've never done anything for him in your life. You've just taken advantage of him. <laughs> Whatever. Man, why is he like this? Yeah, he's terrible, isn't he? The fact that they're trying to hide the inheritance from me tells me that it's a lot of money. This is a golden opportunity for us. I've got to share the news with you right away. All right, we'll visit again sometime soon. I had lots of fun. Thank you so much for having us. Please, come again soon. Yes, of course. Hey, Hiroshi. What is it? I'm going to go out for groceries really quick, okay? Sure thing. All right, now's my chance. Hey, you. I want to execute the plan that we talked about last night over text. Could you come over to my place right now? All right, then. Well, apparently, they're leaving a pretty large sum of money for us. Wait, is that actually true? How much money do you think they left us? Well, they were trying hard to hide it from us, so that must mean that the total adds up to about one million dollars. Wait, are you serious? If we have that kind of money, then we could go anywhere. We could even go overseas. Yeah, that's exactly right. We could eat at the most expensive restaurants, travel around the world. We could even buy a pretty decent house by the beach. That's so exciting. That means we can go anywhere we want for our honeymoon, right? Of course, honey. All right, now, we're just gonna get them to write the will. All right, let's do this. All right, Dad, can I borrow your arm real quick? This'll just take a second. All right, you hold this paper up for me. Yes, sir. All right, now let's make him write the will. You're gonna write that, and you're gonna give me all the money upon your death, all right? Hey, what the hell are you doing? Why are you resisting, Dad? Stop it. Hey, sir, you need to cooperate with us. He's your son, and you love him, right? All right, that means that you have the obligation to give me some of the money. I'm your eldest son, after all. I'm home. Oh, I didn't know you were visiting. Hello? Oh, why are you sweating, honey? Do you have a fever or something? He's been sweating for a while now. It doesn't look like he has a fever, though. I see. All right, our plan worked perfectly. We nailed it. What do you want to do now? Hmm, let's see. We gotta eat dinner at an expensive restaurant that overlooks the city. We gotta do that first. Sounds good! We didn't know about my brothers fabricating my father's will until after he passed away. He passed away three years after this incident. And in those three years, Marina and I got married and we had our first child. Hiroyoshi, get over here! What is it? You stole money from your mother's wallet again, didn't you? Why would you do such a thing, and how long are you going to keep this unacceptable behavior up for? Well, you guys really don't give me enough money. And besides, my school's got really strict rules, so I need a breather sometimes, you know? But you're a high schooler already! If you need more money, then you gotta come and ask us. You can't just steal it from us. You know how important money is, right? Oh, then pretty please. You have to knock this out. Uh, whoa, don't yell at me like that. What's gotten into you? Hiroyoshi, you're gonna become an adult soon. What kind of person do you want to be, son? You sure you want to keep on living like this? Well, things will eventually work itself out. No, it won't. You know, when I was your age, I thought the same way as you, but life is not as easy as it looks. You gotta put in real effort to make it. Yeah, I know that already. I mean, look at you. You've been working your butt off for years, and you're still just a lowly factory employee. Well, then you should just look at what I do at the factory every day. If you see how hard I work, then you'll probably learn how hard it is to make a living out in the real world. Oh, here we go again. Not your lectures again. But anyways, when I graduate from high school, I'm going to stay inside and do nothing at all day. I'm going to make you guys pay for me, and that way I won't have to work. You're kidding me, right? Hehe, <laughs> it's an awesome plan, don't you think? Yoshi, you bastard! Whoa, let go of me. What the hell are you doing? Ow! Hey, what the hell? What's going on? Uh, I'm back. Huh, honey? Uh, are you alright? What happened to him? I don't know, he just fainted right out of the blue. You need to call an ambulance right now. Oh, so he passed out when he tried to come at you, huh? That's interesting. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I couldn't believe what happened. Yeah, I can't either. Oh my god, look at how much you've grown. A lot of people are supposed to come today, right? Yeah, all of his former colleagues from the factory should be coming. And he had a lot of friends when he was healthy. 
He was one of the most social people I've ever met. That's awesome. But he made me worry if he was going to cheat on me, you know. He was the kind of person that would cheat on his partner, but my mom worries too much about everything, so you know how it is. But your father was really popular with the girls back then. He was athletic, handsome, and kind. I see. Man, I wish I could have talked to him more when he was alive. Hey, yo, sorry for your loss, guys. Uh, he was your father, too, you know. You lost a father, too. Well, it's not like we were close, you know? I mean, he doesn't feel like a father to me. You guys are living together now, right? How are you guys doing? Uh, are you getting along? Of course. We're madly in love. How's your work going, then? Work? You moved out of the house because you got a job, right? That's how you're paying for everything, isn't it? Well, yeah, but that doesn't matter right now. Forget about me for a second. We got more important things to talk about, you know? Huh? What are you talking about? The inheritance dummy. He left a crap ton of money for us, right? <sighs> so that's why you came here today, huh? Well, there is an inheritance. It's just, um... I'm gonna receive all of it, huh? Is that good? We should talk about this with a lawyer. We don't need a lawyer. Just look at all this. Huh? What is that? This is our father's will. He wrote it before he died, and it says here that he wants me to inherit all the money. Uh, what? That's ridiculous. He would never write that. But I saw him writing the will and handing it over to Hiroshi. I saw it with my own eyes. We got the evidence, too. You can just ask an expert to analyze the handwriting. Wait a minute. The handwriting on this will is really messy. Y you guys didn't force him to write this, right? What? That's a ridiculous accusation. I mean, we helped him a bit, but we would never force him to write something against his will. You... I can't believe you. How could you do this to your own father? Hey, I know you're jealous of me right now, but you don't gotta make that kind of accusation against me. That's ridiculous. That's not why I'm mad at you. Yeah, it is. You're just lying to yourself. You're just jealous and stubborn. You can't accept the fact that your spoiled little brother's getting all the money. You're just butthurt, you know? Get over yourself. I've got a right to the inheritance. And there's no way you're stopping me. So, is this what you really think? Yes, it is. And I hate people like you who pretend to be good. It's revolting. Okay, then. Hiroshi, let's grab the money and head out of here. Yeah, where the hell is the money, huh? It's supposed to be mine. Well, the money is... Shigaki, stop. Don't tell him. Huh? The inheritance is massive, so it's going to take a while before we can process it. There's a lot of steps involved with handling such a large amount of money. Wait, really? So there is a lot, isn't there? Yes, so you could wait for us to sort things out. It'll probably take about three months. It'll probably take that much time to sort everything out legally. Uh, wait, are you sure? There's no way to get the money earlier? I'm afraid not. I'll make sure to tell our lawyer to get things done as soon as possible. So could you please hand that will to him? We'll handle things from here. Alright then, so you guys finally gave up on trying to get the inheritance, huh? Well, I guess you have no choice. I got the will right here. But anyways, thanks for handling everything. Sure. The lawyer's supposed to get here around 1pm today. Alright, let's go and grab some food before he comes today, honey. Let's do it! Mom, are you sure you didn't have to tell him about, you know... It's fine. What's done is done. But if we let this play out... Oh, who cares? If he wants the inheritance, then he can have it. They even made your father write the will out in their favor. Why not just let them have it? Mom... My mom was being dead serious. She looked like she made up her mind. And so Hiroyoshi handed the will over to our lawyer, and he waited for us to take the necessary steps for him to receive our father's inheritance. But in reality, my brother wasn't getting a single cent. The inheritance had a dark secret that he didn't know about, and what he did was gonna bite him in the butt. Man, this champagne is amazing. Today is the day we're supposed to get the money, right? That's right, it's finally today. The lawyer is supposed to come here today and hand us the money. Oh my god, I'm so excited! I wonder how much they're gonna give us! Hmm? I don't know, but I sure hope it's a lot. Oh, they're here! Yes, coming! Hold on, oh wait, whoa, what the hell? Who the hell are you guys? You're Hiroyoshi, right? Nice to meet you, sorry to intrude. Get the hell out of my house. I want my lawyer, dang it. Your lawyer? Well, you won't be needing one, buddy. Uh, what? We're here to collect the debt that you've incurred from your father. Uh, what do you mean? Didn't you know? Your father borrowed a million dollars from the organization before he died. Uh, huh? And your inheritance includes any debt that the deceased had. That means that you're gonna have to pay us back your father's debt. We liked your father, so we don't want to demand him to pay us back. We didn't know you, though, so we're gonna have you pay us back now. W whoa, hold on a minute. But my mother didn't tell me about any of this. 
Well, that's unfortunate. So your mother made you inherit all the money from your father without telling you what this is about? Mother of the year, everybody! Uh, hold on, just please let me call them. Uh, please, hello? Uh, what the hell is going on here, mom? You never told me that the number the you number called you isn't, call being isn't being used currently. isn't being used currently. What? All right, now you better pay up, or else we're gonna start selling everything in the house to make back over our loss. And when I say everything, I include your pretty wife there. Now come on, I wanna see my money! Uh, no way! What are we gonna do now, Hiroshi? Uh, please, you have to forgive us! What? I didn't know that my father had debt, okay? I actually thought that he had millions stashed away somewhere. And that that's what we were getting, and so we already are down 300,000. I see. So we can't pay you guys back, okay? I'm sorry. And are you guys really sure that we even have the obligation to pay you guys back? So please, just could you go to your mom or my brother or all my relatives and get the money from them? Oh, actually, uh, I w I'll go and collect the money for them if you'd like. Buddy. Uh, yes, sir. If we did that, then we'd get immediately arrested. They don't owe us anything that you do. Uh, huh? Look, it says right here on your father's will that he wants to pass all of his holdings to you. If you should receive your father's life insurance soon, which is about 300000 then you can pay off your outstanding debt that you made elsewhere with that. And so, you're gonna have to work for the other million. Uh, no freaking way! By the way, do you like crabs? Uh, crabs? Uh, sure, I like crabs. Well then, this should be a great opportunity for you. 20 to 30 years on the boat and you'll be able to pay us back in full. Uh, huh? And you're pretty as well, aren't you, sweetheart? If you work real hard, you guys might be able to pay off your debt in a couple of years. What? Alright, take him away and make sure to sell everything in this house. We already got ownership of this house and the land that it's on, so we'll make sure to sell that at a later date. It won't help much, but it'll something. No, please don't do this. Please, help! No! I don't want this, Hiroshi! Help me! Help! You! No! Yes, thank you. I understand. Thank you. So, how'd it go? They said that they're gonna pay them back. Oh, I see. So they had the money, huh? That's a relief. I don't know what kind of job he has, but I'm glad that he can pay the debt off. Yeah, I am too. My father had two types of inheritances, the good kind and the bad. The good one came from my father's life insurance. He was in a life insurance plan that would pay us back 300000 if he ever passed away. But that obviously wasn't enough to pay back the debt that he had, so my mom's plan was to use the insurance money, her savings, and my own insurance funds to pay back the debt to those men. My father had borrowed money from a man that he was close with, so he never demanded that my father to pay him back. And because my mother got sick of Hiroyoshi, she decided to make him pay the men back for the debt. She considered it an obvious punishment for all the years of pain and suffering he'd caused for the family. I guess I'll go visit him soon to talk about how he managed to pay the debt back, huh? Oh, they said he's not in Japan anymore, though. He's starting a job overseas soon. Wait, really? That's awesome! Man, I never thought that he would get straightened out, but look at him now. I'm proud of the bastard. I guess money can change people's lives for the better. Yeah, he shouldn't have gotten the inheritance to begin with, since the will was written against your father's will. But if he wants it so badly, then who am I to stop him, you know? I'm not entirely sure what happened to Hiroyoshi, but my mother told me that he would never contact us ever again. But I'm really glad he was able to change through the whole incident. Maybe my father taking out the debt wasn't the worst thing ever. So Marina and I are going to keep on working hard to build a happy family together.